One of the biggest issues in the body of Christ today is the sin of fornication. And the reason why a lot of believers are still in bondage to fornication is because a lot of people view that biblical command as a set of rules, when in reality, it's God trying to protect us from something much darker. When I was in the world and I was dealing with that sin, it actually led to me getting demonically possessed. And today I'm hoping that this testimony can set many believers free who are watching this, who are still struggling with that same sin. What's going on guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video. If you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. You guys have probably heard of the concept soul ties. It's a controversial thing in the body of Christ, where some people say that soul ties are not biblical, and other people say that soul ties are biblical. Well, I'm here to clear up the confusion and let you guys know that soul ties are absolutely biblical. Now, a lot of people will make the argument that there is nowhere in the word of God that specifically addresses soul ties. And yes, you will not find a Bible verse where God says you are creating a soul tie with this person. But you can clearly see in the word of God that your soul gets intertwined with someone else's soul when you have sexual relations with them. Genesis 2 7 is the first scripture where we see that a human body has a living soul. Where it says, And the Lord formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. So we see here that man becomes a living soul once he is created. And obviously, you and I are created beings, which means that we are a living soul. Now, if we go into Genesis 2 24, it says, therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall become one flesh. So you can make the argument, well, brother, it says one flesh, it doesn't say one soul. But the word of God clearly indicates that man is a living soul. So if you become one flesh with somebody, aka one person, you also become one soul with them as well. These are the mysteries of God that have been revealed in his word. So the argument that soul ties are not biblical is flawed and it's not supported in scripture. However, the scripture does allude to the fact that soul ties are a real thing. And this is why you can't just sleep around with anybody because you don't know what people are carrying. A lot of people have demons that they haven't been delivered from. And especially if you're in the world, all you're doing is transferring demons with one another. And the reason I know this is because a demonic soul tie that I made in the world actually got me possessed with the spirit of murder. So this is back when I was 20, about six years ago, and I was living in Los Angeles. And I remember one night I went to a party in the Hollywood Hills. And obviously when you're in the world and you're under the influence and you're at a party and you know, you're a man talking to a woman, one thing leads to another and you know what happens. So long story short stuff goes down me and this girl end up fornicating and we start hanging out a lot more and a lot more and soon I'm realizing that this is actually a very dangerous woman and I remember one time I was in the car and I was in the passenger seat and I look at the passenger seat and it's completely scratched up completely damaged and I asked this girl you know what happened why, why is this car so messed up and she told me oh don't worry about it that was just my last relationship <laughs> and even in the world although I was possessed by lust and I was not saved I was still like yo that's a red flag but obviously you know I was driven by lust so I just shrugged it off and we ended up talking continuing to do the deed and whatnot until one night it got so bad where she actually demonically manifested and scratched my face and after this I realized this is a crazy woman I, I cannot be with this woman anymore and things just needed to end right then and there right so after that she was kicked out of my apartment never talked to her again and that was that so I thought however that spirit of murder that was inside of her actually got transferred over to me and the reason that I say this is because a week after I started getting these demonic visions of me carrying now a shooting. Yeah, I'm just going to be honest with you. You know, I'm not ashamed to talk about it. This was in the world and I was possessed by Satan back in the day. But yes, I was getting demonic visions of me carrying out a mass shooting and it was tormenting me and I was so afraid of who I was becoming, not realizing that a demon had completely taken over my body. I remember I was so tormented every night with this desire and this urge. And the reason I was dealing with the spirit of murder is because it was transferred over to me from this woman who was also dealing with the same thing. And I remember for months on end, I was tormented going back and forth on should I commit this act or should I not do this? And eventually God intervened and the desire went away. But I will never forget those few months where I was so tormented mentally with the spirit of murder. I remember being on the phone with my friend in the world and I was literally crying because I didn't know who I was becoming. And I never knew what the correlation or the link was to that spirit entering my life until I got saved and the Lord revealed to me these things. The reality is I created a soul tie with a woman who was operating under the spirit of murder. And whatever demonic infestation she was dealing with ended up coming into my body. And this is why fornication is so dangerous because even in Christ there are women who haven't been delivered there are men who haven't been delivered and if you are in fornication with one another all you're doing is exchanging demons the world calls it sexually transmitted diseases I call it sexually transmitted demons because at the end of the day it is demons that cause diseases and that's why so many people end up do getting STDs because they're outside of God's will and they're in fornication and when you do that you open the door for the devil to attack your life this is a serious sin and the Bible actually says this is the only sin that you commit against your own body which goes to show you the 
level of harm that this really causes. Now, Paul sums it up very well in 1 Corinthians 6, 16, where he says, or do you not know that he who is joined to a prostitute becomes one body with her? For as it is written, the two shall become one flesh. When you sleep with an individual in marriage or outside of marriage, you become one with that person. And fornication is a lot more dangerous than people give it credit for. As a believer in Christ, it is not worth it. And I understand that this is a sin that a lot of believers struggle with because I'm just going to be completely honest. It's probably the best carnal feeling that you will ever feel in this world. However, as believers in Christ, we should not be led by carnal desires and carnal feelings. And we should save our bodies for the man or woman of God that is going to be in your life. It is not worth having to go through deliverance over and over and over again. And it's deep spiritual truths like this that actually make this temptation not even a temptation because I don't want to go through that again. I don't want to get possessed by a demonic spirit again. I'm glad to say that ever since I got saved a couple years back, I have abstained from this sin as well as every other sexual sin. And that's not because I'm perfect. That's not because I'm some amazing Christian preacher who just has a lot of self-control. It's by God's grace, but it's also by learning deep spiritual revelations like the essence of soul ties. If you're a believer in Christ and you struggle with fornication or, you know, masturbation, whatever it may be, I want to say a prayer for you. And I want to say a prayer to break any soul tie that you have made in the spirit. Because the reality is soul ties are not just in the physical, but even when you're watching adult videos and you are pleasuring yourself to these adult film stars, you are also making a soul tie with them in the spirit. And those women or men that you are watching in the adult films have made soul ties in the spirit with millions of people. So now you're conjoined to this satanic network that is a lot bigger than you even realize. If that's you on the other side of the screen who is struggling with fornication, masturbation, pornography, whatever it may be, I'm going to say a prayer for you that every soul tie would be broken and that God would set you free in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Father God, I just thank you right now for whoever is on the other side of the screen and I command every single demonic spirit that has inhabited their temple from fornication, from pornography, from masturbation, that it would come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Every perverted spirit, spirit of lust, fornication, whatever it may be, I command every unclean thing to come out of this person's temple right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You come out right now and you never touch this child of God again. Get out right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I bind you right now with a threefold cord that cannot easily be broken and I command you go to the abyss right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ never to return to this man or woman of God in Jesus Christ mighty name come up and out in the name of Jesus Christ the reality is as a Christian if you do end up in fornication you are going to have demons enter your temple just because you believe in Jesus Christ doesn't mean that you can live in sin and not have a demonic door open and a demonic spirit to dwell within you and you should walk with the fear of the Lord in this manner you don't want to open your body as a habitation for demonic spirits to my brothers and sisters in Christ trust me wait until marriage it is worth it you don't want to make a soul tie with the wrong person because that person could be sent by Satan to destroy your destiny there's time Times where I've seen people in my personal life have their destiny in Christ be destroyed by fornication and God has never reestablished their anointing or mantle. It's a very terrifying thing and you don't want to be that person. You want to walk into the fullness of what God has for you. And if you have to lay down a cardinal temptation like fornication to walk into the fullness of the call of God, I'm telling you that's worth it. Look, at the end of the day, sex is a beautiful thing. God created it for his glory to represent his covenant with us. But if it's outside of his will, if it's outside of marriage, it is going to be a recipe for your destruction. Guys, I do want to mention I just dropped a new music video called Yahweh Calling and it is officially out now on my music channel. I'm trying to fight against the demonic music industry and I'm trying to turn the tides by making Christian hip-hop music. So if you guys could go to my music channel, click like on that video and leave a comment on it as well. It would really help us a lot in the algorithm and at the end of the day it's the saints of God like you and me that can truly make a difference in this world for Jesus Christ. So please show some support. The music video link is in my description. Hit that like button, give it a comment so we can help it get boosted in the algorithm and I really appreciate you guys so much. If you made it all the way till the end of this video, I want you to comment down below, flee from fornication. If you guys want to watch my last video, simply click up here. And if you guys want to subscribe to the channel, simply click up here. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out.